Good day, everyone. I wanted to share with you the fact that I painted my kitchen floor last week and it was really easy to do. I painted over really old linoleum that was very ugly and very worn. I started the process last year by using this all floor porch and patio paint in this green gray color. I used that first and painted the whole floor because I wanted to see how it would work before I got too crazy doing the design. So for well over a year, we just had that color on. It was flat, it was a little bit dull, but it certainly cleaned the floor up and made it look a hundred times better. I think I paid around $50, maybe $60 for that paint. I think I could have got a better deal um, from Valspar, but anyway, I don't regret it because it served me well. So that's what I started with. And then just this week, I went out and I bought this, this purple color and a lavender color. That's the lavender. There's the purple color there. And I also got another green that is similar to the base color, but a little bit softer. And then I got a green, which is a nice light green to dab on top of everything. So I just went about this whole huge floor with um, this foam wheel that you can buy and I bought the supplies for that at the dollar store. So these wheels, see how there's kind of circular, I'll try to pull that in a little bit, circular motions. I did that all over the floor with these foam wheels which I'll show you still pictures of and I did it in each color. It dried really fast because it's acrylic and I had a fan going in the background and then once it was dry I took balled up uh, plastic wrap and just dabbed it all over the floor to kind of even it out and give it a good texture. Sorry the lighting is uneven in here. Then after it was all done in this huge, huge, big old farmhouse, it looks so good with the white cabinetry. By the way, I tried to see how it would look if I painted the cabinets lavender or purple so I tried the darkest lavender color and I knew that if it looked bad I could just wash it off so I did that this morning and it, it wasn't as good as white so I'm going to repaint all the cabinets white very soon so the whole place looks sharp and clean because that white tends to get kind of fingerprinted up even with our best attempts so anyway, it's a very big kitchen and instead of paying $3,000 or I'm sorry, $2,000 for new flooring to be installed, I just went for it. I got out my paint, um, I laid it down and I'm really happy. Then in addition to the paint that I painted on and dabbed on, at the very end I put on this um, Minwax water-based polyacrylic protective finish, crystal clear finish. Be careful if you buy Minwax acrylic that it says crystal clear finish, otherwise it tends to look like a little, like it's got a gold cast to it, so it's not pure white. This comes out very, very clear, very beautiful, and it seems to hold up really well. I used it for years on my paintings, now it's on my floor, so pretty cool. Anyway, Again, I would really encourage you to give this a try, even if you try it in a small room, like I first tried it also in my bathroom upstairs, and I painted over 12 by 12 inch peel and stick um, linoleum squares that were up there, and they lasted perfect. They still look gorgeous. Even the embossing on the old tile looks good through there. So this, this rug I went out and got at home goods and I think it really looks good. It's one of those foam mats that you can move in front of the sink. But I love the message and it couldn't go better with my design. Anyway, that's how you do it. Feel free to shoot me a message if you have any questions. Uh, I hope you'll try it. Uh, paint, paint your hearts out. It's really fun. Bye. Peace out.